Hi there. Good morning. Matt Pelser. Here's a great example of a central Indiana community coming together to support a great cause that many of us can relate to in this really grand way. I am on the line with Mark Wallace, Director of Community Relations for Grand Brook Memory Care in Zionsville. And we're here to talk about Memories on Main in Zionsville happening this weekend. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So, Memories on Main, can you tell me about this event? Uh, how, how many years have you been doing it now? So this is the third year. I Here I'm thinking you've been doing this for a long time. No, it's it's this is just the third year we've done this that I've organized uh, Memories on Main here in Zionsville. I, I, I work here in Zionsville, and it's, it's just an amazing community here. Working in dementia care, I see, you know, firsthand what Alzheimer's and dementia does to families. And that really was the spark to say, what? let's come together and let's do a fundraiser and let's promote the Alzheimer's Association because they can they connect families to resources and they they provide support and care and they're also a major supporter of research to try to find a cure for this disease. Um, so it kind of it morphed from that where we all got together on one day and we each business did something a little different, but what made sense to them. And they all donated the proceeds from that one single day of fundraising. So it was really great to see just the entire town coming together and all along Main Street, we had uh, purple balloons out in front of every shop. And it's so cool to see you look down Main Street and all these purple balloons up and down the street, knowing that each one of these, they're committed to this cause and that they're doing something to support families living with Alzheimer's disease. And it'll happen again this Saturday, June 22nd, along Main Street in yep. Zionsville. And uh, how cool. So, and as I understand it, the day <laughs> starts with the Zionsville Farmer's Market right there on Main Street. So you come in the morning, get your produce, and stick around the rest of the day and support this great cause, the, the Alzheimer's Association. Absolutely. Yeah, the Farmer's Market, great Farmer's Market, and then they're right there on Main Street. And um, of course, we'll have information available. Um, it's going to be really cool. Okay. So if you have had a recent diagnosis in your family of Alzheimer's or dementia, I think you just said you're going to have resources there on site so that you can just kind of come up and find out what might be in store for your family now that you've gotten this new information. Where do we go from here? Absolutely. That's a sad statistic is that every 65 seconds, somebody is handed this diagnosis and, you know, a family has changed forever. And it was very true as even last year, more than uh, three or four families actually came up to me and said, Hey, my loved one was just diagnosed. And because this information is here, we were able to get, we're going to be able to get connected to the resources we need. So yes, we will have information about caregiver resources and um, the Alzheimer's Association's resources and, and their support groups. We'll have that information there for anyone that needs it because uh, this is a disease, unfortunately, that we don't have a cure. So until that day, we're still going to fight and we're going to raise money and support the families that are trying to navigate this disease. And one of the ways that'll be done is with a great event this Saturday called Memories on Main in Zionsville raising money for the Alzheimer's Association. And uh, my guest has been Mark Wallace, Director of Community Relations for Grand Brook Memory Care in Zionsville, who uh, are putting on this event. Mark, thank you so much for doing this, and uh, it'll be a beautiful day on Saturday. We're going to we pray for good weather, and I appreciate you uh, having a conversation with me. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.